I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Better than becoming a mind flayer, I suppose. Keep it. In case things start to go very The corpse regards you lifelessly. The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. No.
Any word on Master Halson? Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go is a mistake. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I did, but I was robbed. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Mary. Thank you. For help. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Messing with our business, yeah? You scared the life out of little Sylphie. Now, you're going to pay for it.
right. Fine. You get one more chance. We're done here. Get lost! Never see us coming. Delicious. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Not long until we need Moving in. now. I don't need any attention right now. Just want a little look. Can't risk being in open view. These boots have seen everything. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. These tieflings prove fragile. I remind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors. Not soldiers. I failed to see the distinction. I need a quick word. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need.
Sylvanus be with you. Good to be back behind the walls, I have to say, for as long as that lasts. If I ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot.
We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that, but they've already let you pass once. To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of course.
hello. Crooked touch. We here. Let's get going. Huh. I'll take that. Can't slow down. sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. happening something stirs deep within you hungry and alert it's taking something you'll never get back his mind opens up revealing cracked and quivering memories at their heart you see dark eyes commanding you to feed you open your mouth and bite down not into a tender neck but into the twisting body of a rat the only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these... worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal.
No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Something's on my mind. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but... Someone or something is keeping me alive. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Chuk. Be wary of false problems. Lot of effort to hide one sock.
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. inside. What's in here?
This way. Never a dull moment. Oh. That took the edge off. With haste. And will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for service. They will help Thanks. you, but only if I ask. I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Let's see what this does. Hmm. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. No one. Very, very quiet. They won't see me coming. Glowing eyes are so rarely a good sign. Best tread carefully. Something to cry about. Minthora's gonna skin us. No one knows about this damn weapon. Yeah, she'll kill us dead if we go back without it.
silent as the grave. I can be subtle sometimes. Minthor is gonna skin us! No one knows about this damn weapon! Yeah, she'll kill us dead if we go back without her. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Stepping softly.
guess this. What's the plan? Another fight. Let's go. Survival is all that matters. I am fury. I am death. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. They won't know what bit them. Step quick.
Time to press ahead. Anything of use? He doesn't respond to your voice. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. Indolence breeds madness. Need to keep going. Breathing, despite everything. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. Oh, it's my fault. Oh, I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Step forward. How 
for a skeleton key. Don't you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll... I want to have a word. Well met. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Tiny grooves spider across the ice surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. A sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. You watch and listen for signs of deceit, but sense nothing unusual. Make some room and I'm all yours. Something the matter. If you're sure. Fine. Well met. That's the spirit. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. 
But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Well, we came through Avernus. We might not look it, but we're tough. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? No? Shame. I thought you might enjoy a little fun. <laughs> Be safe out there, whatever comes your way. Master Monster Hunter, how would you approach killing a vampire? A full-on vamp, you mean? Lure it into the sun, drive a stake through its heart. And that's not the end of it. The suckers are wily. And no offense. None taken. Wiliness keeps me alive. More or less. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. What? What are you doing? Your sword brother, now!
coming through. Come on, can't stay idle. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value in something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. as soon as they need to. File parasites. You know, I was just thinking about you, remembering our little encounter in the night. And I am very grateful. It did get me thinking about the others, though, how they might taste. And <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. No, that's the thing. I can't quite figure them out. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. <sighs> yes, heavens forbid we have an interesting conversation. Still, I am intrigued by the possibilities. <laughs> no one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. What? I was only making conversation. Honestly, you have no sense of fun. What's up for discussion? Something's wrong. I feel... 
feel... I feel... Ah, it hurts. Darkness, protect me. I... It's difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. You're not going to let this go, are you? I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. The goddess of secrets? How telling. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though perhaps that might change, if you can show an open mind. Don't thank me. I'm breaking Lady Shah's teachings just by doing so. But sometimes you have to be practical. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Indeed. Farewell.
feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. <laughs> I do so very like spicy food. The corpse regards you lifelessly. power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Albert tracks. Its nest must be nearby. <laughs> Laser. You've the most exquisite eyes, golden as the sun. Soft skull. It. Is that a compliment? No, it is a fact. Life in this Faerun is laughably weak.
Careful, I bite. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. <coughs> With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. Got a long road ahead. Should mind my step. Not a chance I'll fit in there. I've never met anyone like you, Lazel. Yes. I've been told I'm quite scintillating. Really? No. Something good here, I hope. <laughs> Lazel. Do you believe in love at first sight? I hardly believe in love at all. Oh. But I do believe in carnal pleasure. Oh. a few giant bats in my day, Astarian, but never hunted a vampire. Just to remind you, I'm merely a spawn. It won't count. But if you want a true vampire, I'm happy to recommend one.
historian. How is the rat diet going? <laughs> it may soon come to an end if you don't shut your mouth. <sighs> Keep your distance, darling. Let's prowl the element of surprise. It is, as they say, empty. Into the shadows. Not a sound. Lunite necklace. If I'm any judge, something's <laughs> waiting up ahead. And I am. <laughs> Gate. At least it's some kind of civilization. 